and then we'll see where we're at. Okay? So I'm gonna rip those floor apart, that floor apart, I'm nice and tight, I'm gonna draw my stomach in, send my hips back and down as I squat and bring my hands up just for balance, just to start, okay? So I'm here, I'm gonna let my knees track out slightly laterally, keep my core strong right, drive through my heels, okay? One more time, here, torso upright, set my hips back and down, drive through my heels, back up, okay? Hold time, got a full squat to it, if not, just try and get those pieces on it. Stop there. You're going to grab the unit before we see Lauren, okay, Lauren, come in there. I just need to jump. You just finish. You want to grab like a light kettlebell. Let's have a look at what, what Lauren's doing. See if there's anything you notice from this uh, that you would you would uh, you'd improve on, or see if there's any coaching points that you'd be given, Lauren, uh, based on the squat. Yeah. Okay. Off you go, Lauren. that floor apart, try and keep that upright torso. Are you seeing an improvement? Yeah? Okay? So it just goes to show it's not just a flexibility issue, it's an activation issue. Alright? So, with that in mind, what we're going to be doing now, we all need to go and find a piece of wall. Right? So, fix that. Okay? So what now we're going to do is Reese, I'm going to ask him to squat down against this wall. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, so you can see he wants to lean back, okay? So all of us now, this is what we call squat therapy in CrossFit, okay? So this is how we start to improve that activation going on here that we just saw with Lauren by putting a weight in front of us, okay? So what we're now going to be doing, guys, John and I are going to have a look. I want you all having your hands above your head, okay? Find that squat position, so reach you need those feet a little wider, okay? Rip that floor apart, imagine you're on that big piece of paper, and I want you all searching your hips back and down. Okay, and we're gonna go for 10 reps each. Okay, off we go guys, 10 reps. Ooh, nice and slow, take it nice and slow. too many heels come off at the moment, okay? We're gonna go 30 seconds on worth of air squats, okay? 30 seconds off, we're gonna go two rounds and then that's gonna be the end of our warm up. John and I are gonna do a great one down and bit by bit, I'm just gonna demonstrate the first movement, the, the, the full, sorry, the full movement in this entirety, okay? So, med ball clean looks like this. curling the ball, okay? So you want to slide those hands around the ball. Yep. Okay, shrug. Get ready. Go! Yeah, again, start to turn that ball, so you want to be sliding the hands around. Get ready. Go! And start. Get ready. Go! Get ready, go! And stand. 
done. Okay, Lauren, ready, go! And hold. Okay, good. Stand. One more shrug. And go! And stand. No nursing. Go down, approach the ball. Rep one, and go! Okay, cool. Alright, let's get down. Rep two, approach the ball, and down. Go! Alright, elbows in that catch position, guys. Get down, approach the ball. And go! Okay. And approach the ball again, guys. Down. And go! And one more time. Approach the ball. And go! establish the correct grip width from the bar okay so what we're now going to be doing is I want to be trying to sit the pipe in the crease of my hip okay all I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my knee up okay so that it touches the pipe okay it should be able to touch the pipe and not influence the height okay at hip height so what I mean by that if it's influencing the height my grip width is too narrow if I can't touch the pipe my grip is too wide okay as a general rule of thumb Right, so we're going to be bringing that in a little bit, okay? Touch the pipe, but not influence the height, okay? Perfect. All right. Okay. Now, what I want, what I want John to do in the first is he's going to raise his hips by driving his knees back towards the wall. But if you watch, his back angle isn't going to change, okay? And back down. So he's just moving his legs. So what he's not doing is lifting his chest first, like that, or raising his hips first, like that, okay? Cheers, mate. So, all we're doing here, guys, once we've got that correct grip width, okay? I'm gonna go down into the mid chin position, the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna form a slight bend in my knees, push my hips back, and get into that perfect torso position. There, drive the knees back, my back angle's not gonna change. I'm gonna go from the high grip, hips back towards that wall, then I bend to get into that position. Okay, my fault for my shoulder. Alright? So, slight bend in the knee, everyone cut with me. Hips back towards that wall, chest stays up. Then I bend in the wall once I get past that knee. Fight that up right torso. Okay, Jordan, fight that right torso, drive those knees out. Okay? Good. Okay, from here, chest stays up. Drive my knees back. And up. Okay, ready? And lowering the back, raise that torso. Starts with the position of the shoulders in relation to the back with the PVC pipe in this case. So we do exactly the same thing this time. Slight bend in the knee. Drive my hips back. Okay, I'm going to go to just above the knee. Now here, what I'm going to do is once I get to mid thigh, I'm going to be fast and aggressive, just like I did with the medicine ball. But I'm going to keep my shoulders over the bar for as long as I possibly can until the top of the movement. I'm going to slightly peel away. Okay, makes sense? So what we're not doing, guys, is this, hyperextend at the top, my shoulders not being in line with or just over that bar. So all in one, watch, get to mid-thigh, fast and aggressive, we're gonna jump. Okay, Jordan, we're sitting back on that bar too much, I need those shoulders over. Okay, slow and controlled to mid-thigh, jump and shrug. Okay, let's see some more power, guys. You guys are elite athletes. Come on, let's jump through that floor. Okay, drive bend of the knee. Hips back. Slow and control to mid thigh. Jump and shrug. Good. Okay, let's get two more skills well, to promote the pull under the bar. Okay, what we call the third pull. All right, just like you did with the clean when we were pulling ourselves under the ball. This is ourselves pulling under the bar. Okay, so it's to promote 
pull and turnover of the elbows, but only when we're going back to the floor and trying to beat that bar to the floor. Okay, what it doesn't mean is that we actively bend the arms on the way up in the second pull. Okay, everyone understand that? Yep, cool. So, if I slow that down for you, we're in our position here, feet directly underneath the hip, slight bend, hips back and down. Okay, now from there, I'm going to drive up, I'm going to bend my elbows high and outside, so they're not just high in here, I want to high and point it outside. Then, without this bar leaving my chest, I'm going to pull my elbows under and press. So I keep a nice linear bar path. You see that? I don't loop away from the body. Yep, make sense? Okay, cool. All right, guys. Just so we can check that, John's going to be coming around. Hold down here for me. In that position, stand. Okay? All right. Get ready, guys. You're going to go on my command. I'm going to shout go. You're going to drop underneath that bar. Try not to give it any impetus first, just drop down, extend into that overhead squat position. Okay, amazing, behind the back of the neck, just hold, sit. Get ready, go! And stand, okay, all right. Get ready, go! And stand, okay, think about the squat guys. All of a sudden, remember, we started with a squat and a warm up, starting to see why we needed to look at that as a drill, okay? I'm seeing lots of this, lots of this, okay? Let's think about that ideal position, okay? Get ready, go! And stand, extend those elbows, maybe you've got too close a grip, okay? Bring those hands up, that's it, okay? Behind the back of the head, Tyler, don't worry about struggling too early. Get ready, go! Good, and stand. Everyone pause there for me at the bottom of the squat this time. Get ready. Go! Stay there. Good. Okay, knees Jordan, claps it in. Tyler, good. Keep pressing up into the ceiling, guys. Excellent. Knees out. And stand. Okay. I'm going to perform my muscle snatch. As I'm coming underneath that bar, I'm going to need to stand. Yep. Okay. So, all in one, guys. So then. Back. Okay, one more. Slide like then. Just back. Okay, cool. Now, let's try not to see these bars coming away from the center of mass. Remember when we did our muscle snatch? We kept it nice and close. Exactly the same here. Shoulders over, drive up as we're pulling ourselves underneath. Don't let these bars get away from us. Elbows high and outside. Okay? All right, five reps. Me and John will be coming around. Okay, slight bend, hips back. Shoulders over the bar, yep. And go! Okay, stand, good. Okay, get down. Everyone hold at the bottom now. Okay, and go! Stand. Okay, so yeah. 